dear students we can do the problems in the first unit the first one is an aeroplane moves along a circular loop of radius 1 km at a constant speed 720 km per hour what is the centripetal acceleration once i repeat an aeroplane moves along a circular loop of radius 1 km at a constant speed 720 km per hour. What is the centripetal acceleration? Okay. So from the, uh, from the problem we can see that it is a, an example of a circular motion. Here an aeroplane, aeroplane is moving along the circular loop. Here the radius of the circular loop is 1 km and uh, the speed, the constant speed is 720 km per hour. Okay. So, uh, we know the equation for the centripetal acceleration. We have the three forms. But here, the data given are the radius and uh, the linear velocity. So, we should uh, use the formula which uh, consists of both uh, radius and uh, velocity. So, centripetal acceleration A is equal to V square by R. We can use this formula. Okay. Before using this, before substituting the values, uh, we have to we have to convert the quantities into the SI unit. So first we can look into the radius. So radius is given in kilometer, but we know the SI unit is meter. So we have to convert into kilometer into a meter. So what is the one kilometer? How much is the uh, how much meter is the one kilometer? All of you know that is the thousand meter. 1000 meter you can uh, express like this 10 raised to 3 meter okay next how can we convert 720 kilometer per hour into meter per second so meter per second is the SI unit so how can we convert so we should convert we have a a uh, we have a simple formula uh, that we can obtain by 720 km per hour. That uh, first we should convert into uh, kilometer into meter, that is 1000, divided by hour into second, that is 60 into 60. So, uh, that is equal to 720, uh, uh, let us uh, keep it as 1000 divided by 300 and uh, 3000 and 3600. Okay, that we can convert, uh, simplify, that is uh, 3, 3, that is 5 by 18. Okay, so uh, so we can convert. So we can use the, this conversion formula that is one kilometer per hour equals five by eighteen meter per meter per second. So this is the conversion formula that we can use in uh, this type of uh, formulas and this type of problems. That is five by eighteen. So we can convert uh, kilometer per hour per hour into meter per second by simply multiplied by 5 by 18. So we can uh, use this formula 720 km per hour 720 into 5 by 18. So you can do this one. So you can see 
this hundred twenty eight or eighty is that is fourteen. So fourteen into five two hundred. So two hundred meter per second. That is the linear velocity. So we can substitute here uh, four hundred and square divided by radius is that raised to three. So you can complete the problem. You can complete the calculation. That is uh, two hundred. So you 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 should get the answer is that is fourteen. The unit is meter per second square. So this is the the okay, centripetal acceleration. Okay. Now we can move to the second one. What is the angular velocity of the second hand of a clock? What is the angular velocity of a the second hand of a clock? Here we can use the formula. What is the angular velocity? The angular velocity is equal to that is omega. You can use the formula omega omega is equal to angular displacement divided by the type. Angular displacement divided by time. So here, what is the angular velo angular displacement? We know the second hand of a clock. So it covers how much angle it covers in sixty seconds. So uh, when the second hand covers a complete revolution, it takes how much time? That is sixty seconds. So during a 60 seconds, uh, it have a it has an angular velocity, angular displacement. So what is the angular displacement during that time? That is 2 pi. So it covers one complete revolution. So it describes 360 degree. That is the 2 pi radian. Okay. So the displacement is 2 pi and the Time for that is the one complete revolution. That is the 60 second. So we can substitute. That is 2 pi divided by 60. Okay. So you can do the problem. You can do the calculation. That is 2 into 3.14 divided by 60. So the answer is zero point one zero four seven. What is the unit of the angular velocity? That is radian per second. Okay. Uh, the similar way you can calculate the angular velocity of the second hand. We have done uh, the angular velocity of the minute hand and the angular velocity of the hour hand. Okay. So in each case. Uh, the displacement is for the one complete revolution. The angular displacement is two pi, but uh, in each uh, case the time may be different. Okay, that we should uh, we should remember. Okay, now move to the the third one. A 
a wheel rotates with a constant angular acceleration to radian per second square. If the wheel starts from rest, how many revolutions does it make in 10 seconds? A wheel rotates with a constant angular acceleration to radian per second square. If the wheel starts from rest, how many revolutions does it make in 10 seconds? Okay. Here, uh, what we, we, we are given, here the angular acceleration is given, that is, alpha is given. Alpha is equal to 2 radian per second square. And also, if the wheel starts from rest, that means, here the initial angular velocity equal to 0. How many revolutions does it make in 10 seconds? How many revolutions does it make in, in 10 seconds? That means, uh, here, uh, the time t is equal to 10 seconds. So, we have to find out what is the total angular displacement in 10 seconds. From that, we can uh, find the, the number of revolutions. Okay, so uh, we have to find out what is the angular displacement. Okay, so we can use the, the equations of motion here. Uh, since uh, we don't have the value of uh, omega 2, uh, we can use the, the equation which doesn't contain omega 2. So that is theta is equal to omega 1t plus half alpha t square. Okay, here omega uh, 1 is equal to 0, so theta is equal to half alpha t square. So, using this, substitute the values. Uh, so, half into, what is the value of alpha? 2 into, what is the t? t is equal to 10, so 10 square. So, what is the value of theta? The angular displacement, the angular displacement is equal to, 100, 100 radian. So, this is the total dis angular displacement in 10 seconds. Okay, here we are asked to find what is the number of revolutions. Okay, we know. So, when, uh, when, the, when the wheel rotates, when the wheel complete one rotation, uh, what is the angular velocity, angular displacement? That is the 2 pi. When the wheel rotates one complete rotation, it covers 2 pi. The angular displacement is 2 pi. Okay. Now, uh, we have the number of, we have the, the total displacement is 100. So, in this total displacement, 100 radian, how many revolutions are there? That we have to find out. What is the procedure? So, we have to divide the total displacement by the displacement for the one revolution, that is 2 pi. So then we will we will get the number of revolutions. Okay. So the number of revolutions. The number of revolutions is equal to total displacement divided by the displacement for the one revolution total angular displacement divided by angular displace sorry angular displacement in one rotation that is equal to what is the total displacement 100 divided by the now displacement for the one rotation that is 2 pi so what is the answer the answer is 15.9 
ラビとしてます。あだろったりしてます。OK? Clear? Now, the fourth one. A mass 0.2 kg is attached to a string of length 1 meter and revolved in a horizontal circuit. If the string can withstand a maximum tension to 20 Newton, find the greatest angular velocity with which it can be revolved. Okay. I repeat. A mass 0.2 kg is attached to a string of length 1 meter and revolved in a horizontal circle. If the string can withstand a maximum tension 20 newton, find the greatest angular velocity with which it can be revolved. Okay, here, a mass that may be stone or whatever it is, so it is attached to a string and uh, it is, uh, we are just uh, 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 revolve the revolve the, the mass in a horizontal circle. We are just rotating that uh, stone. Okay, so uh, we are given if the string can withstand a maximum tension. That means uh, the, here the tension here the tension is equivalent to the required centripetal force. Okay, if the string can withstand a maximum tension, that means uh, the maximum centripetal force required for the uh, the, rev uh, the revolution of the string and that is the uh, 20 newton so uh, we have to find out uh, we have to find out what is the angular velocity okay the greatest angular velocity means uh, the velocity with the the, uh, the uh, angular velocity uh, that happen in the uh, that happened with the maximum centripetal force. Okay, that means uh, that happened with the maximum tension of 20 newton. Okay, first we have to write the, the equation for the centripetal force. Okay, so we should understand that here the maximum tension of 20 newton, that means that is the, uh, the maximum centripetal force. Okay, the centripetal force F is equal to, uh, we can also uh, remember that uh, here we have to find out the angular velocity and we are given the radius and mass. So, we should use the formula uh, which are comprised of these three quantities. That is, uh, F is equal to centripetal force is equal to M omega square R. Okay. Here, uh, the centripetal force F is given, that is the maximum tension. 20 newton and uh, m is equal to 0 0.2 kilogram and uh, the radius r is equal to 1 meter so all are in the si unit so we can find out the value of omega first we have to find out the value of omega square then we can find out the value of the omega so f divided by m r so uh, make these substitutions that is 20 newton divided by 0 0.2 kilogram that is 0 0.2 by 1 meter okay so what is omega square What is omega square? Omega square is equal to 100. So, what is the value of the angular velocity omega? Omega is equal to square root of 100. That is 10 radian. The unit is radian per second. So, 10 radian per second. So, this is the, the greatest angular velocity with which the, the mass can be revolved. Okay, then we can take the, the next one. Uh, 
uh, th th that is also a similar equation, similar one. A string can withstand a, mass, a tension of 25 Newton. So what is the greatest speed with which a, a 1 kilogram mass can be built in a horizontal circle using 1 meter length of the string? I repeat, a string can withstand a tension of 25 Newton. What is the greatest, greatest speed with which a 1 kilogram mass can be built in a horizontal circle using 1 meter length of the string? Okay, this is the similar uh, problem uh, that we have already done. See here the maximum tension. Here the tension means here the the, the required centripetal force. The, here the required centripetal force is given 25 Newton. And the, the mass of the, the object that is m is equal to 1 kilogram. And uh, the radius of the that is the length of the string that is the radius of the 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 horizontal circle that is one meter so here we have to find the the greatest speed that means we have to find the, the linear speed so which formula we have to use the uh, centripetal force that is f is equal to m v square by r m v square by r so from that first we have to find out the v square that is f divided by m r okay so let us substitute the values uh, f is equal to 25 newton divided by mass is 1 kilogram and the radius is 1 meter so v square equal to 25 therefore the velocity is equal to the greatest speed the velocity the speed is equal to square root of 25 that is 5 what is the unit meter per second 5 meter per second